What's going on guys? Welcome back to another KLL video and in this video we will be taking a look at my top 20 cards. I'm pretty sure there's one honorable mention. Um, the pile is over here. I'll show you it. Um, big stack of 20 cards here. All of my favorite cards plus one honorable mention. Um, this is of course my return video. I haven't made a video in seven, seven months. It's, it's been since like August of 2019 so I'm very happy to get um, get back into making videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it during this current situation. I know sometimes it's hard to find things to entertain yourself, but that is why KLL is here to put out some weekly content. Now, it's not going to be daily content because, number one, we're not together, and number two, it's very hard to get out to stores because, um, like, we're not together because of the current situation, but also... We can't get out, out to stores and buy packs because when you do get out to stores, you got to buy the bare minimum of what you actually need. So we're not going to throw packs maybe like once or twice, but it depends on the um, situation and how we could get those packs. Maybe one of us could order something. I'm not sure. But we are going to try to be creative and bring out content. Now, Danny will be getting his Jabs family Patreon packages um, every month. So that's at least one video a month. And today we're going to take a look at my favorite cards. Now we got to be creative. So I took 20 of my favorite cards and I put them in this pile. It's my top 20 favorite cards. Plus this one honorable mention here, which we'll be starting out with this Canadian football player. His name is Ernest Jackson. And this guy came to my school in fifth grade and he did a speech for like the whole school. But my fifth grade science teacher actually knew the guy and he came to our classroom and he signed a few cards and I actually got to get one of them. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, he was a, he was a great guy. He came to our science class and he did the speech for us. And it just it's just a special card, but it did not make it into my top 20. It's a special card because it's sentimental. The guy came to my school and I actually got to meet this guy in person. So it's pretty cool. Got to meet him in fifth grade. So now actually moving into the top 20, we're going to be starting out with a card I got at the last card show for 50 cents. I got a Devin Singletary Donruss Elite Series Rookie card. Now this was for 50 cents. There's this guy at the card show and he just has a table and he puts up a bunch of like numbered and nice little rookie cards up. And um, I don't have anything else from him in this top 20. I'm not sure. I don't really think so. I'm looking over at the pile. I don't see any currently, but... I know that I've bought in a Jalen Ramsey numbered to like 30 from him for 50 cents. So yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, Devin Singletary rookie. Coming in at number 19, um, you're going to see a lot of wrestling cards in this video because I'm a huge wrestling fan. Um, today is actually, it's Saturday and it is um, WrestleMania part one day, tomorrow's part two. But um, I don't know if this video is going to go out today. But here we have a guy who's in a different wrestling company now this picture and card was made when he was in wwe he is currently now in the rival company aew this is from when he d defeated alberto del rio for the world title and it's part of like the actual mat that they wrestle on it's actually cool um it's from wrestlemania 29 um one of the first wrestlemanias that i can actually remember i remember 27 28 and 29 those were like my first three and another wrestling card is something that says um, $10 on it. I actually got this for a dollar from a dollar auto bin. And this guy is currently in NXT, as you can see. Um, he is with the Forgotten Sons. I hope um, when um, if he asks for a release, they grant it. Because what I've heard, um, he should be released from the company. He's not, very, he's not really doing much. So... I think they should release him and she, he should go to AEW. I think he'd have a lot of potential. And if he does good there, this card will go up in value. Next, we have a card that's also like a little bit sentimental. And I got for a dollar from the same time I bought the Wesley Blake. It's a Trevor May rookie auto um, to 75. So, like, if this was a good player, that'd be nice for a dollar. But he's not really he's not really great. He's a pitcher. But also... um. I used to watch his streams. He would stream um, games, and I I always said I really want a Trevor May card. Now I didn't care if it was a rookie. I didn't care if it was an auto, but a rookie and an auto numbered card of Trevor May. That's just a W for a dollar. I could have got a regular card for of him for a dollar, but I decided to go with the auto, obviously. And then we have two cards. So the Singletary is twenty. 
Swagger was um, 19, 18, 17. So these two will be 16 and 15. And they're two Shoei Otanis. Now this one is 16, this one is 15. Um, I got these both for a dollar each. They have three dollars on them because that's how much I was selling them at the card show. Um, they are both rookie cards. One of them, this is from Archives, and this one is from Heritage. Of course, 2018 rookie cards. I'm a big Shoei Otani rookie card collector. I have a bunch more, but these are two of my favorites. Next, coming in at number 14, is actually a really cool card design from um, Donruss. I got this out of a Donruss box from Christmas. I saw Max Scherzer numbered to 249. Yeah, 249. And it says Franchise Features now playing Max Scherzer. And then on the back, it's Franchise Features coming attraction Brent Honeywell. At first, I thought this was um, an error card or the card was stuck together, but no, it's actually how the card is supposed to be. It's actually pretty cool. I actually really like this. Of course, Max Scherzer plays for the Nationals, and he um, he won the World Series with the Nationals, so this card's pretty cool. The 249. Next, uh, this is number 13, I believe. We have this short print Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie. I pulled this out of Big League in one of our earliest breaks on this channel. So you can go find that. <clears throat> just look up um, or just go to our channel and it's called Big League Break with Black and White Albert Poolhouse. It was a great break. And then on the, that's just to indicate that it's my card and not Danny's um, when we did the card show together. This is the back of the card. It's like backwards, though I don't know if that's how it's going to show up on the video. Um, it's a great card. I love that card. Next, the card that I bought for, I'm pretty sure it was $5 or, or something. Um, it's this, uh, Vladdy Archives, um, rookie card. Now, Vladdy, I was a big Vladdy collector last year. Um, when he was big and all of his rookie cards were worth a lot. This I bought for 5 It's worth 10 <clears throat> The guy was selling it for 10 and I got him down to five. It was like the end of the show, and I got him down to five. So that's pretty cool. A uh, nice card there, a nice looking card. Um, next we have another Matt Relic, and it is one of my favorite NXT superstars. It is Johnny Gargano. Now I just took him out of his sleeve, just to show you. This one's actually numbered to 199, which is why I kind of like it a little bit more. And he's a um, better wrestler, in my opinion. Now, Jack Swagger is pretty good, but um, Johnny Gargano is one of my more favorite wrestlers. Such a nice card here. With the map from NXT TakeOver Florida. I'm pretty sure that's when he took on Andrade. Uh, maybe Champa, I'm not sure. Next, we have a card that's been in my collection for probably the longest out of all these cards. I'm just going through. Yeah, this card has been in my collection for the longest, except for two of these cards and it was the first ever auto i pulled it says jordan luplo chrome autograph now i have it up for 10 which is actually a really good price for this seeing as how he did pretty good um last year for the indians um it's his rookie card auto i'm actually i was really glad i pulled this out of the uh fairfield box and i was really excited to pull this, this my first auto i ever pulled um so yeah that's pretty cool jordan luplo Next up, we have another thing I got from Christmas, and I'm going to take it out of its sleeve. It's a relic, and it is a Gary Sanchez um, game jersey relic. Now, I got this from a holiday box, of course. You're guaranteed to get one of these, but I, I didn't know I was going to get a Yankees one. Uh, congratulations. You now, you you have received a relic card from 2019 Topps Walmart Holiday Mega Box. I got three of these. The other one was Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez. I'm not sure the other one is. I don't actually remember. Um, I'll have to find that. I found my Eugenio Suarez, but I'm not sure about the other one. Now, this card I bought for a dollar, I think, which is not bad. I'm actually going to take it out of its thing. You can see it's a relic because that thing is so big. It's not really a relic, though. Just a bigger card. It's from Panini. Yeah, just Panini. It's the black and gold um, Odell Beckham rookie to 199 It's such a thick card, though. Um, I was so happy to get this for a dollar because Odo Beckham is one of my favorite football players, even though he doesn't, he's not doing too great on the Browns. Um, but when he was on the Giants, the Giants are actually one of my favorite football teams. The Bills and the Giants, my two favorites. So, and I really liked Odo Beckham. 
yet another relic but this time i think this is probably the best relic we have in here it is i'm taking it out of its sleeve again not the sleeve actually but like the the top loader um it's a trey turner bat relic i'll take it out of its sleeve and i bought this for three dollars at the same time i bought the trevor may and the wesley blake autos um it's his bat relic and the only reason i bought it is because at the time the nationals were in the playoffs and then they ended up winning the world series so um this card will go up in value and such a nice card put it back in its thing then another most of these cards are cards that i just got for a decent amount of money so like this card i also got for a dollar it's a garrett cole number to 99 um, and I bought this when he was on the Astros, not even knowing he was going to go to the Yankees. And I only bought it because the Astros were pretty good until they started banging trash cans. Um, but now he's actually on the Yankees, so I'm glad I have this card of Garrett Cole. The going to be a pitcher for the Yankees, hopefully for the full 10 years. Uh, this guy can do great things for New York, my favorite team, of course. And now we're getting into the one, two, three, top five here. So coming in at number five, we have the card that's been in my collection the longest. Like an actual, like I know I have like other cards, but the card that I've actually had for the longest that I can remember. And that I actually really do enjoy. And the first card I ever bought was this Gary Carter 1995 uh, rookie card. And I'm so happy I bought this um, for $2. As um Gary Carter... Mark Hill, Lee and Roberts, and Daniel Meyer. And of course, uh, Gary Carter is um, the focus of this, the reason I bought it. Now, all of the corners are very soft, and um, the card's a little bit faded and it's off centered, but I'm not, I don't really mind. I don't know why I have $5 on it. Um, I shouldn't even be selling this card. Uh, next time I go to a card show, I'm probably not even going to put this up. This is just so, such a good card that I actually like having in my collection. Next up, it's the first and only basketball card in this um, thing, in this top 20. It's going to be a James Harden rookie card. Now, of course, my favorite team is the Rockets. Now, it used to be the Thunder, but... Um, I follow Westbrook wherever he goes. Some people can call me a bandwagon about that. I just think I'm loyal to Westbrook. And so now I like the Rockets. James Harden is on the Rockets, so it's a win-win, a rookie card for my former favorite team and the team he currently plays on. It feels like every um, player from the Thunder that's good goes to the Rockets, except for KD. Um, KD, of course, went to the uh, Warriors, and now he's on the he's injured, but he's on the Nets. Um, hopefully when he comes back, they can do great things if the season ever resumes. Um, but next up, we have a, one of the other cards that's been in my collection for the longest, and it is a Thurman Munson. Now, it has $10 on it. I don't know if I was actually selling this card, or if this is from a different card, and I just threw this Thurman Munson in it. It's so beat up, though, that I wouldn't even mind selling it for $10, but I just love having this card in my collection. Now, it's a like $110 card, but... There's no way my card is going to sell for 110 seeing as all the damage that's been done, the fading, the soft corners. There's no creases in it, but there's a lot of fading and soft corners, and the edges are all roughed up and stuff. But it's just such a cool card to have in my collection. Coming in at number two, we are in the top two now, and it is another wrestling card. Now, I promised there would be a lot of wrestling cards in this video, and this is my favorite wrestling card in my collection. It is a numbered to 50. I don't know if you can see that. It's numbered to 50. It is the Shield. Um, one of the best factions um, of all time. My favorite faction of all time. My favorite wrestler right there, Seth Rollins. And this card has to have a lot of value. Of course, Rollins won the Universal. He's a Grand Slam champion. He's won Money in the Bank, Universal title. He's won every, every title you can think of. And um, at WrestleMania, he's facing Kevin Owens. Roman Reigns, same thing. He's a Grand Slam champion. I don't think he's ever won Money in the Bank. He's won the Royal Rumble, as has um, Seth Rollins. So all these guys' accomplishments just add up. And now the, in the current, um, the current 
AEW World Champion Dean Ambrose, now known as John Moxley, is on this card. He also won the U.S. Tag. He's a Grand Slam champion as well. All three of these guys are Grand Slam champions. So this card has to have a lot of value, especially when it's numbered to 50. And then my top, my top favorite card in my entire collection. Now, this card um, is just such a such a nice card and it's one of my favorite players of all time and it's his rookie card it is Derek Jeter now it's the 1993 tops Derek Jeter and you might say um if you're not that much into cards you might say oh that Vladdy looked very similar and why is that um this is because the archives took the 1993 set and for the rookies put it on there so these cards are next to each other look pretty pretty cool as they're from two different um eras but Derek Jeter of course one of my favorite players of all time I actually got to see Derek Jeter in a Yankees game um I actually got to see him play so I'm very glad I got to see him play and I'm very glad I have this card it's my favorite one in my whole collection the draft picks Derek Jeter I don't think I'll ever sell this um it does have a sticker on it I don't know why um again probably the same situation with that um Thurman Munson that I just probably put in a thing that already had something on it but it is Derek Jeter my favorite card in my collection thank you guys for watching this video I can't wait to go back to uploading for you guys um on the weekly schedule of course we cannot do it daily um with online schooling and the fact that we can't go out and buy packs and stuff and we're both trying to make money from card shows instead of spend it all on packs um, but thank you guys for watching this video. Um, that's uh, basically all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.